Hey man, shalom. Coming to the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahshai Bashem Rechak Dash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone who taught me the truth. And salutations unto the Akim that continue to push the word in truth and in sincerity. Um, now, what I want to do is just uh, go through the book of Revelation, chapter 3. And uh, yeah, then I'm going to be a part of here, man. So, this is Revelation 3 and 1, and it says, And unto the angel of the church, inside this and the church is the congregation by the way not a building it's a congregation of the men the body of believers um <clears throat> in these particular areas and unto the angel of the, of the church inside this right these things saith he that have the seven spirits of the Mosai and the seven stars I know thy works, that thou hast a name, that thou livest, and art dead. Be watchful, and strengthen the things which remain, that are ready to die. For I have not found thy works perfect before the Most High. Okay. And this is Yahweh Shai speaking. So the Lord, you see... That's another point, you know. The Lord actually analyzes the uh, the men. He analyzes us, man. He says, "For I have not found thy works perfect before the Most High." So we got to think, you know, is this uh what we're doing? Is is it a perfect attempt before the Lord, man? David, to let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Yeah, it does the works, but the bigger question, you know, bigger the bigger picture at hand is, but is it acceptable? Remember therefore how thou hast received and heard and hold fast and repent. If thou should if thou shalt not watch, I will come on thee as a thief, and thou shalt not know what hour I will come upon thee. Thou hast a few names even in Sardis which have not defiled their garments. Which is, you know, basically operating outside of the wisdom, knowledge and understanding. And they shall walk with me in white, which represents purity, for they are worthy. He that overcometh the same shall be clothed in white raiment, and I will not blot out his name out of the book of life. I will confess his name before my father and before his angels. Wow. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says, saith unto the churches. And to the angel of the church in Philadelphia write, These things saith he that is holy, he that is true, he that hath the key of David, he that openeth and no man shutteth, and shutteth and no man openeth. I know thy works. Behold, I have set before them an open door, and no man can shut it. For thou hast a little strength, and hast kept my word, and hast not denied my name. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews and are not. And oftentimes we bring this out, speaking about um, Amalek. But really, this applies to, uh, yeah, you can apply it to Amalek, but really it applies to false brethren who come up within the truth. <clears throat> Which are, say they are Jews and are not, but do lie. Behold, I will make them come and worship before thy feet, and to know that I have loved thee. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation. So... When you keep the word of patience, you endure the suffering. So the Lord is going to keep us from the hour of temptation, which is what? The, the mark of the beast. So the Lord's not going to put the spirit on his elect men to fold into that temptation. We shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. Behold, I come quickly. Hold fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. So to what you have, hold on to it tightly, man. Him that overcometh will I make a pillar in the temple of my power. 
which means <clears throat> those who are successful, which are already predestined, who will be successful with the elect, are going to be pillars in the temple of the Most High. I mean, they're going to be pillars in the kingdom, great men in the kingdom, and he shall go on more out. And I will write upon him the name of my power and the name of the city of my power, which is in your in the new uh, Yerushalayim, which cometh down out of heaven from the Most High. And I will write upon him my new name, and the new name is the same name, but refreshed and put in our our minds again, with the law statue along with the law statutes and commandments. Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai. Now when it says, I saw the new new Jerusalem which cometh down out of heaven from my power, it's not talking about actual city, you know, gates and walls and buildings and streets and lanes and just floating down to come and settle on the earth. It's talking about the new Jerusalem is the elect, okay? He that hath an ear to hear, let him hear what the Spirit says unto the churches. And unto the angel of the church of the Lacedians, right? These things, these things saith uh, the Amen, which means uh, the truthful saying, so be true. And the faithful and true witnesses, the beginning of creation of the, of the Most High, and all thy works that thou neither cold nor hot. <coughs> I would thou work cold or hot. Okay. So then because thou art lukewarm. And we always go here. Uh, neither cold nor hot. I will spew thee out of my mouth. See the look is. The Lord is looking for guys that are, are, are hot. That's on fire man. Alright. You know. But the Lord said I would rather you that you were just. You know you're hot. Or you're cold. So guess what the Lord has more respect unto a cold person. That it ain't about this. That ain't in the truth. The Lord can understand, you know, their position more than somebody that's lukewarm, man. Right? Because thou says, I am rich and increased with goods and have need of nothing. And no, it's not that thou art wretched and miserable and poor and blind and naked, which is with sin. I counsel thee to buy of me gold tried in the, in the fire. That thou mayest be rich and white raiment, that thou mayest be clothed, which is the purity of the truth. That the shame of thy nakedness, which is thy sin, do not appear, and anoint thine eyes with eyes, so that thou mayest see, which is the Holy Spirit, the accumulation of the angels, loud enough to understand the truth. As many as I love, I rebuke and chasten, and be zealous, therefore, and repent. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. Which is the, the door of your heart, the light of the mind. If any man hear my voice and open a door, I will come in to him and will sup with him and he with me. To him that overcometh, and this is what I really wanted to get at, verse 21. To him that overcometh will I grant to sit with me in my throne, even as I overcame and I'm set down with my father in his throne. So the elect are actually going to sit down with the Lord, man. Just as Yahweh shies at the right hand of the Father in the spirit realm, we're going to be able to sit down with the Lord Yahweh Shai. Abarat Azawi of the elect. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says unto the congregations. So, that's it, man. You know, that's it. The, the, you know, those who overcome will sit down with the Lord in his throne, man. You know, this is what we look forward to. This is what we work towards. This is what we look to be a part of, man. You know, but the Lord watches and analyzes, man. Um, so, yeah. Anyways, with that, I'm going to wrap it up, man. So, now.